All right, let's get this ride started. This is the turnoff for the Red Rocks Loop. And it's a pretty good little climb up the hill. It's really beautiful and scenic. So even though you're doing a lot of climbing and uh, working pretty hard to get up to the top, it's never dull. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep riding for a while and then check back in when we get farther up. Still climbing, still beautiful. None of that's changed yet. So we're just gonna keep on climbing. We climb for a long time on this trail before we start getting some good downhill. And as you can see, we get a lot of great views of the city from up here and the Rocky Mountains. Thank you. Watch it. Watch it. So it's still going up, but here's a little flat spot because this is a point where there's a ridge connecting one peak to the other. I don't know the names of these peaks. I guess I don't really care. They're each cool, whatever their names are. So this is a good riding area. And now we're looking at another little techie section to ride through because of all of these routes. More just amazing trails, great views from the trail, climbing. My guess, time-wise, climb is probably 45 minutes to an hour. Coming down is probably 10 or 15, but uh, that's sort of how it is. You live in the Rockies, you do a lot of climbing, and then you do some mad descents. So here is the more beautiful trails and more climbing like a mountain goat. Okay, this is a pretty cool section of the trail. Whew. We have earned some rest and recuperation and momentum to get through these little hills now. Whew. It's all about the momentum. I think coming up, I'm gonna have a pretty tricky section that'll test my skills. No, not yet. A little farther up. a lot of pea gravel here so we got to be careful I don't want to go sliding off any cliffs it would make my wife very unhappy okay oh here's a tricky little section let's see how well we can do here because we got to come in slow and then not make it up the hill all right now we've got the long tricky technical section i don't know what the sec the section is called it takes you from the cheyenne mountain area to the section 16 above red rocks open space but i call this the connector because it in my mind connects the different areas together I'm not sure if I took the best route, but I gotta deal with the cards you're dealt. This section is quite technical and tricky. There's a lot of 
breaking and sliding down here, especially in my low end hardtail. It's a challenge. It's also kind of shady, I have to say. I probably should have taken my sunglasses off. Getting through here. A lot of work in the front and back brakes, both together and independently. Hi there, it's just me. Nice. Very rocky and technical. There's not a lot of hikers today. Don't want to run into them. Hey, you. You're on tape. <laughs> sure, no problem. Excuse me. Thanks. Okay. The dogs are friendly and dopey, but they make good obstacles. Yes! Made it without putting my foot down. Ah, but then bang my foot there. Okay. Can I keep this going? Ah. Ah. Thank you. Okay. And I haven't lost the camera or the phone yet. Whoa! Oh, almost endowed there. I can get my feet back on the pedals. Here we go. That one caught me by surprise a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is a busy Saturday. Thank you. Oh, I took that line wrong. I need to put my feet down. Try not to put my feet down at all. Oh, people are clearing out early. That's nice of them. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I'll need it. <laughs> I haven't taken that line before. That led me over here, which wasn't too bad. <sighs> I do have to say, after a while, this gets pretty tiring on the arms and oddly, the feet. Okay, oh, I think I need to go this way.
little too big for my britches there. I'm patient. Almost down now, through the hardest part. I'm tired coming down this guy. Branches, and that is basically that a little bit here, but we're almost to the Intamin Trail, which is technically, in my mind, the end of the connector. <laughs> Okay, we're up. Not injured. No worse for wear, but let's get started and we'll finish off this trail. Ah. All right. We've got a clear section and we're really almost to the Intamin Trail now. Alright. I've got a cool little section here. Thank you. Okay. All right. So now this is the Intamin Trail. Thank you. Next channel. Chains off. All right, and this is kind of a cool little s section to get through. But after what we've already done, this isn't such a much. just a little bit in comparison to the connector or whatever it's called. Thank you. Hey you pooch. Now if I really want a cool ride and to go for a bit longer I'd be heading to the trail on the left. But that's not what we're doing today. Let's see if we can get up this bad boy. I don't know if we can. Nope, not gonna make it, but we'll give it not much of a shot. Now normally, when I'm doing my Red Rocks run, I'm riding the other way on this trail. But, of course, this is a different ride. But it gives me a different view 
of this trail than I normally see. And it's beautiful in both directions. Getting tired now. Ride's almost done. I've got one little climb here, and then we will have done pretty much all of our climbing. And this is not much of a climb. There. I think there's very little climbing left at this point. Bah, gonna make up my mind. We'll go this way. Okay, we're not turning off there. But the next left, we will turn. I think this is the left we want to take here. And this is the better way to the parking lot. So we don't have to just go down a ton of stairs. And it's actually a really nice trail here. Seems to be fewer hikers come this way, and it's actually a much nicer trail. So, this is a good way to go. Since there's two ways to get to the parking lot from where I turned off. <sighs> trail. A little bit techy but not too much. A little bit flowy. A little bit of everything really. And we are back to the parking lot. It appears that I cut my knee from that little fall. 